We're back everyone, it's the detective, back again. And it's finally time for me to get around to actually reviewing these Wave 2 or Wave 3 of Armored Alliance. Not totally sure, the waves have been all over the place recently. Uh, these packs are the debut of Clear Bakugan. As you can see, we have the Clear Batrix. We also have the Ramparian, very excited for both of those since I don't have any of those designs yet. I believe that is Hydrus and I think that's Cycloid, but I'm not totally sure. And oh, yeah, I was right. So yeah, Cycloid. Um, kind of weird that it shows Aquos Hydrus when it's actually Pyrus. I didn't notice that before, just into, you know, just now when I flipped it around. Nonetheless, I'm going to bust this box open and let's take a look at all the Bakugan that we get inside. So here's everything taken out of the package. As you can see, we have the four Bakugan and the two Ultras I already folded up. We have the Baku gear for Batrix Ultra back there and the cards and cores. And unfortunately, I think that these got kind of bent, like the entire packaging is just a bit warped. Now, I only have two explanations for why this could have happened. The first is that the Baku cores are packaged with it. So it's possible that they just didn't use a plastic casing that was big enough. And it's also possible it was just mine. My, maybe mine was packaged bad and the way that they apply the tape caused stress to be put on the cards and they got bent. So I just feel like it was because of poor packaging and I'm really hoping that this can improve. If you don't have this problem, let me know. But if you do have this problem with your cards from this uh, from this box of your pack, definitely do let me know about that. And just to reiterate on what I just said, as you can see, I've just taken the, uh, the cards and cores out of the package. And there is a very, very noticeable bend when I have a few of them together. So this is the Bakugan that everyone is most hyped about for this set. Now, yes, this is an older set, so you've probably already seen it by now. But nonetheless, I still want to make these videos because not much product has been coming out recently that I'm planning on buying. Nonetheless, though, I really do appreciate how, like some of the other Armored Alliance Ultras, the actual ball form design is far smoother. And, you know, the ball form is still going to look very nice. I do absolutely love the translucent plastic. The only thing I don't like about this though is this solid blue piece back here. Now it does make sense for that piece to be blue because, you know, if that was translucent plastic, especially that's where, you know, the magnet's located with the big powerful spring that opens up the Bakugan, it would be put under a bit of pressure, but I personally would have preferred if it was like this color of blue instead, just to not break up the color scheme, but I can look past it. So without further ado, let's actually roll this guy out and I haven't rolled him out before, so this is going to be my first time seeing him transform. So as you can see, I've set up a pretty big hide matrix considering the fact that I have not actually been, you know, playing around with Bakugan for quite a while. It's been a while since my last review, but nonetheless, uh, I guess we'll just find the arrow. There we go. And boom, first try and he landed on his head. Nonetheless though, that is really cool. Let's take a closer look at Batrix himself. So here is Batrix, and frankly, he looks really amazing. He definitely kind of reminds me of Enoch and the way that he unfolds, but he's definitely uh, far, I guess, skinnier and broad in terms of his the space that he takes up. Like his wings are kind of, they just kind of go out to the side. His ears come out. Uh, the legs definitely remind me of Enoch. I love the face. It's a bit hard to see, but there are some tiny little molded teeth in there. You, you can kind of see them right now. Can't wait to see what people come up with for actually like custom painting this. And you know, if you couldn't tell already, Batrix himself is a bat. So I love the little bat wings and the hands there are also super cool. I really like how you can actually see like his little clawed fingers when he's in the ball form as well. I also can't really get him, uh, can't wait to get him in darkness because I think that would look really, really cool as well. All right, so let's take a look at his card real quick. First of all, I just like to say, I absolutely love the art on this uh, character card. It looks absolutely fantastic. He uses a shield and a fist. 504 and on a shield plus four damage so basically he can get up to 508 and this can be especially interesting because he does come with the baku thrusters uh baku gear card let me just move this back it's basically a four cost for a generic three uh plus three plus three so pretty generic i think i only have like one copy of this or two copies so it, it, you know if i had two copies i have a playset if i had one copy i have two but i definitely didn't have a playset of this before so it is actually kind of nice to get it here so next up is Darkest Ramparian or Ramparian or Romparian, whatever you want to call him. And Ramparian was one that I didn't really like at first. I saw him at the Invitational a couple times, you know, just prototypes on display. But he did release in Wave 2 in Aquos, and I didn't get that release since unfortunately I couldn't find it in my local stores. And then, you know, the whole pandemic happened and well, you know, it's still going on. But nonetheless, this is my first time owning him. And just taking him out of the package, he honestly looks super duper cool. So I'm really excited to actually see how he transforms. 
And again, I have a pretty big matrix set up here. And yeah, again, just like Batrix, he fell over. Nonetheless, that's a pretty cool transformation. So here he is. And honestly, I think that this guy looks really, really cool. Um, he does have some manual parts, actually, which are the feet, which actually flip around, which I think is super duper cool. Really adds some character and also a bit of shaping just to the legs. I really like the way that he looks. These little things in the side, not totally sure what these are. I think they're supposed to be wings, but I really love the way that he picks up the Baku core. 800 B power, pretty cool. And yeah, not much else to say. He's a very simple design, but honestly, I just love the way that this guy looks. I really hope that we get a translucent version of him in the future. I know that there is a translucent Pyrus version that's been out there, but I'm not the biggest fan of the way that that looks. Really hoping for a translucent Chaos one in the future, since the translucent Chaos Bakugan look absolutely amazing. Nonetheless, though, let's take a look at his character card. So first of all, I'd just like to point out that the Baku gear that comes with him is Dark Helm. It's a three cost for 202. You know, just kind of generic. I literally think I have two playsets of this card by now, but whatever. It's just, a, you know, it's a generic Darkest Baku gear that I'm sure some people will use. Um, anyway, for Ramparian Ultra, again, like Batrix, I think that this art is just so beautiful. He has a shield and a magic shield, which is pretty interesting considering he's an 802 Bakugan. And we already have a lot of Darkest Shield Bakugan, but I don't think that we have a lot of Darkest, like high power Darkest Shield Bakugan, which also have magic shields. And I think that's a bit interesting. I don't know if there's been like a shield and magic shield like a deck that someone's been trying to brew or whatever. Unfortunately, just, you know, due to my classes that were happening over the past like few months that just recently ended, I haven't really been able to focus on the Bakugan community all too much. So I don't exactly know like which decks are popular at the moment, but I am super excited to test this guy out because magic shield with Darkus is crazy. We already have, you know, 650. I'm at, like, you can just get him to 1450 on turn one, and that's just insane. Like, it, yeah, it's two damage, but that's 1450. Or you could save him for turn three, or your third turn of winning, and just, you could try to win with him and get a team attack off with 1450. And if you, the other two Bakugan that you're using have, you know, lower B power and higher damage, that could be quite the devastating team attack. So, nonetheless, really cool. Very excited to have this guy. Let's move on to Cycloid. So here is Cycloid, and yes, another returning Bakugan from the older series. So many Armored Alliance Bakugan are kind of referencing older ones, and while Cycloid's actual Bakugan form doesn't exactly re resemble the original Cycloid, uh, I do, you know, of course there's the name Cycloid, and just, you know, Cyclops Bakugan, what's not to love? His ball form is super smooth. It kind of reminds me of Scorporos' ball form, especially from the side view. I don't know why. It just really looks like Scorporos, also kind of with that top part, that kind of folds up. Uh, he does have the pegs for the Baku gear, of course, and I forgot to mention it, but the Ultras also have those pegs. Not gonna really roll him out since he's a core, but I do love how dynamic he kind of comes forward. Designs in the future, and I do like that. Um, I really do like the way that this guy looks. Uh, as you can see, the, the one-eyed head in the front. I do actually own a couple of the original Cycloid. I don't have them on me right now. Maybe I'll do a future video, like a comparison video or something. I do promise you though, he is very, very much different from the original. No manual parts from what I can gather, and it's a very, very simple design, but you know, sometimes simple designs are really great. Now he is a Red Fist and Orange Shield 602. I honestly don't know what can be done with that. Ventus is kind of a lacking faction. I feel like there have been a lot of good Ventus cards in Armored Elite. I don't know exactly what this guy could be used for. You know, Red Fists and Shields is not really a combo that I've been seeing a lot. But again, I have been inactive for a bit, so who knows, there might be something big happening with those two core types. We do get the gear Vented Channeler. 10 costs for 1,010. I do not think that this is worth it. There are some decks like the Ramp decks with Ventus that I do think can get you there, but not every deck can ramp. Um, not all Ventus decks ramp, and sometimes, like, especially if you're using a Ventus Bakugan, you're not always going to be going for the ramp option. Nonetheless, though, I feel like in decks that use stuff like Winton, or maybe even like a Pyrus and Ventus deck, like with the, uh, the Age of Oral Dan, perhaps in a Maximus Dragonoid deck, perhaps, or Dragonoid Maximus, I guess is the right term, uh, perhaps in a Maximus deck, if you have the energy and the ramp to spare, you're using the AA Dan, maybe you could use Ventus Channeler. But as it stands, I think that there are better Ventus, uh, better Ventus cards out right now. 
So here is Pyrus Hydrus. Again, the Armored Alliance Hydrus. Not my favorite um, coloring for this guy. I haven't even opened him up, but I'm just not generally a huge fan of the Pyrus and Hydrus. Nonetheless, uh, let's open him up. And bam, there he is. I do like the green claws. This is my first time opening him, by the way. So, you know, I haven't seen this guy before. I haven't even seen any pictures of him. Uh, at least, you know, all folded out, especially since on the box, instead of showing Pyrus Hydrus, they actually showed the render for the Aquos Hydrus. Uh, he doesn't look too bad, but generally, you know, the Aquos one totally overshadows him, especially since we got that absolutely busted Diamond Evo. Let's take a look at the character card. Double Green Fist. 504 that is pretty interesting no effect yet but i'm definitely curious to see uh what can be done with this guy and where this guy is going to go and baku gear pyru hammer six cost for 100 b power but 12 damage uh, again another crazy pyrus card i don't think it's something that you want to be playing at three copies two copies maybe but anyway it's pyru hammer um there are some better pyrus gears out there i think uh nonetheless though those are all the Baku on, but let's take a closer look at that Baku gear. So I know I've been kind of rushing through, um, you know, the Cycloid and the Hydras, but I've just been gushing so much over the Rimparian and the uh, Batrix. But Batrix is the one that actually gets the Baku gear in the set. Now, interestingly enough, the actual Baku gear itself is not translucent. Uh, now, again, this could have been done because, like I mentioned, with this piece over here, you know, especially with the magnets and stuff and with all the springs, and, you know, this section of the Bakugan is where a lot of the stress is being put with the springs opening up and flipping them open. So I guess that could be why. Additionally, it's possible that in the future they are going to be doing translucent, like fully translucent Baku gear. We'll have to see about that. Uh, nonetheless, the actual kind of like arm guard pieces, or where do they peg in? Yeah, they kind of peg in like below his wings. Uh, kind of weird. Oh, I guess they peg in like this. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're like thrusters. It took me a little while to realize what that was, but they're like miniature thrusters, which definitely makes sense. And this Baku gear is just totally nuts. I don't know the exact way to attach it. I guess it just goes on like this. <laughs> that is so cool. It's so big, I can't even, oh my God. Let me, uh, let me pick up my camera real quick. It's so big, but I absolutely love it, especially since so much, so much of the art featuring Batrix shows him kind of with this jetpack on. I mean, he's already a bat. He could technically fly, but this is just so cool. So over the top. It definitely reminds me of, you know, stuff from Gundalian Invaders, and I absolutely love it. Alrighty, and here are all the Baku cores that we get. We get one magic shield, three shields, three green fists, and one red fist. Let's take a look at what they do. And here they are flipped over, and wow, these Baku gear, uh, these Baku cores really, really... These are some good cores, to be totally honest. So first off, we have the plus 500 minus one to Baku gear cost. I don't remember if there's a plus 600 and minus Baku gear cost. I don't know if that exists. I feel like it does. But nonetheless, this is still a really, really great core because, you know, magic shields. And again, especially since that magic shield is kind of corresponding to the Ramparian, you know, with the 800 B power, like that's gonna boost you up to 1300 B power. And then if you can like combo with a bunch of other stuff to then get that gear reduction to a good use and actually play that Baku gear during the battle that you rolled your Ramparian, that could be pretty devastating, especially if that's gonna be boosting the B power anymore. And I mean, even just going off of, you know, the, the gears that we get in the set, like Dark Helm, for example, let's just go with that. That will get him up to 1500 B power and four damage. And that's pretty great. And you can do this turn two. Like you can roll Ramparian turn two and do this combo. And I think that, that that's actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, definitely a very powerful Bakugan. Plus 300 minus one. That is amazing. Like the plus 300 core was the best vanilla Baku core for shields that existed. That, it was the best shield vanilla core. But now we have something even better. Like, this is just amazing. I don't know, I don't think a, a minus two to, to cost exists. That would be pretty broken. Um, I'm pretty sure I have actually like two or three other copies of this exact same core. But from now on, if you're gonna be running a deck that runs shield cores and you run Baku gear in the deck, which let's face it, at this point, you probably are running Baku gear. You basically have to run this. Like, this is just amazing. Again, another one. This is a great core. The plus 400 to Aqua to Darkest. Great to get the reprint in the new Armored Alliance style. If you don't have the Battle Planet ones, you better stock up on those because especially if you're playing Aqua to Darkest, this is going to be good. 
plus 200 minus two not the best core but it's still a really really great uh shield core uh plus two minus two for fists i don't think that's the best core for fists when it comes to baku gear reduction i feel like for fist cores it's generally a bit better to get a damage boost or sorry a b power boost but you know some decks that have a lot of b power might want to focus on damage when it comes to the cores so in that case that's great the plus five red fist is okay not the best but not the worst either and then these other two cores the plus 100 uh and then plus three basically this one is uh, plus 100 and then plus three aquas or darkest and this is the same thing but for pirates and darkest not the worst not the best but still pretty good like these cores really impressed me i was flipping these over because you know i didn't really pay attention to them when i was taking them out of the packaging these cores really impressed me and that's awesome all right so there was my review of the aquas batrix ultra and darkest Rimperian ultra baku gear battle pack and i know i've been absolutely like ecstatic and like super excited this whole video and i know that this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than i would have wanted it to but i'm totally okay with that because it is just so fun to be able to actually open this up again and generally i'm just so excited that all my classes and the, but the majority of my stress is pretty much all gone i am really really excited for fusion force i really hope it comes soon uh anyway though guys Thank you so much for watching. I'm the detective. This has been the Baku Year Battle Pack review, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.